Hi everyone, my name is Andre, and today I'm going to talk about Java Daytime API. And before we move on, uh, I'll <clears throat> let's recap a few terms, such as um, NGMT or Greenwich Mean Time. Mean Time it's average solar time in the zero meridian calculated astronomically by the position of Earth related to the other object. GMT also directly used as a time zone in some countries. The distance between a uh, time uh, points according to the nearby GMT marks may not exactly equal one second. Uh, the next one is UTC or coordinated uh, universal time. It's a time standard introduced to replace GMT and calculated using atomic clocks. Uh, use it only as a reference for an offset and not a time zone. Uh, the difference from GMT solved by adding an extra second to the Earth, uh, which is called a leap, leap second. Uh, None of the GMT or UTC have a daylight uh, saving time for areas of the time zone where daylight saving time is used, the difference from UTC is uh, changed. And the last one is uh, Unix time or POSIX time uh, describes uh, moments in time, which is uh, defined as the number of seconds uh, Leipzig science midnight of January 1, uh, 8070. Unix time uh, classes does not correspond directly to GMT or UTC. The difference between uh, nearby marks is always one second, but the leap seconds is unix in Unix time is not assumed. Uh, let's move on to the Java and let's start with the uh, old daytime API. Uh, working with uh, dates in Java before Java 8 uh, used to be hard. Even simple uh, tasks were difficult to solve. It was necessary to use third parties libraries or write bulky code uh, for processing date and times. Mm. For various operations with time, such as reading or modifying individual calendar fields, uh, such as year, month, day, hour, minute, uh, could be used with Java Util Calendar. Uh, must note that months starts with year zero and the day start with one, or you can set the full date in Java Util Calendar. The number of milliseconds is not reset to zero, but remains equal to the number of milliseconds from the previous set point. The next uh, the next class is uh, Java SQL time is a subclass of Java until date to work with time time in the database. Java SQL uh, timestamp is a subclass of Java till date of is nanosecond currency to work with uh, type timestamp in the database. Uh, the classes Java SQL date and Java SQL time is not poor representations of time and date signs they inherit from Java till date and uh, somehow they store a full Unix time value while ignoring part of the value. Interpretation of uh, days and hours depends uh, on time zone. For converting uh, time uh, timestamps uh, to and from an access point, there is a class Java text date format. Um, and, uh, the next one is uh, Java till a date is uh, this part its name. It's a timestamp. It's only stores the number of milliseconds elapsed at signs a Unix epoch. The Java till date is not point of the time axis at all, but in a millisecond long uh, segment. Um, so uh, a few notes about uh, Java that date uh, format and Java till calendar is that both classes have a set time zone methods and explicitly set the time zone. It's, at, it's a low, uh, advisable to use it uh, to indicate uh, that you have uh, full control over the process uh, rather than the relying to the default time zone. Uh, both classes also have the set lenient methods to use soft mode. Uh, in this uh, mode, both classes will try to guess what you really mean by default uh, or soft mode. Uh, information about time zone is uh, represented by Java till time zone class. Uh, and but important note that uh, zone is not an offset, and we cannot say that GMT plus free Europe. Uh, it's uh, Europe means uh, time zone, but we can say that for the whole 2022 years, the Europe means time zone will correspond to the GMT plus free uh, offset. Uh, the time zone is the entire history of uh, offsets for the entire historical period as well. Um, 
the data that allows us to correctly calculate different uh, historical moment and to make the correct time calculations. Uh, let's move to the new API. Uh, Java 8 introduced a completely new daytime API based on the popular Java library called Joda Time. Uh, the new API dramatically simplified uh, date and time processing. Let's start from uh, Java time, time clock. Uh, Java time clock is on is a core of just a new API, provides access to an instant and time using uh, best available system clock and uh, used as time provider, which can be effectively stubbed for testing purposes. A standard uh, instance of Java time clock is always aware about time zone in which was created and uh, the factory of this class are uh, system default zone, system UTF, fixed, uh, tick second, tick minutes, tick uh, and V zone. Uh, the next class is Java time instant, which represents a point of time or time step created to relate, created to replace Java till date, but Immutable with a uh, nanosecond precision and correct name. Uh, it stores Unix time in two fields, a uh, long field with number of seconds and int with number of nanosecond within the correspond second, current, second, current second. Uh, Java time instant to instant to string uh, always make uh, text representation in the UTC time zone with uh, the ISO format. Uh, Java till local time, Java time local time is a tuple of hour, minute, second, and nanosecond. Java time local date is a tuple of year, month, and date. And Java time local date time is a combination of both tuples together. <clears throat> the abstract class zone, uh, zone Java time uh, zone ID uh, specify. Uh, time zone, uh, two subclasses, uh, Java time zone region and the Java time uh, zone of set implements two types of time zone, a time zone based on geography and time zone based on the symbol of set uh, from UTC or GMT. Uh, class uh, Java time zone date time is our analog of uh, Java till calendar. This is the most powerful class with uh, full information about uh, time context. Uh, it includes uh, a time zone and uh, does all shift operations uh, correctly. Uh, Java time offset time is uh, local time plus zone offset. Java time offset time uh, stores less information than zone date time. Offset date time can full indicate a time point and the Unix axis at time axis, but it can't make can fully. <clears throat> And make fully correct uh, shifts uh, because this class no, know nothing about future and past hand uh, translations. Between uh, two instances of Java date time, you can always correctly calculate the difference in seconds. Uh, important note that the time shifts and modification operations are generally performed correctly only in the zone date time. Our next classes are Java time. Period uh, describes the calendar duration as a tuple of year, months, and day. Uh, and next one is Java time duration, which describes the exact duration as an integer number of seconds and fractions of the current seconds as nanoseconds. Java till uh, format date time format formatter describes the formatting and parsing settings. Um, and the last one is uh, Java time. Temporal temporal adjuster is a functional functional interface that allows us to define custom logic uh, to, for date and time processing and has predefined implementation in the temporal adjuster class. Um, this table contains uh, the main classes of the old and new APIs with uh, short descriptions. Uh, yep. So. Uh, uh, let's move on to the content, see examples for the boss APIs. Uh, 
for demonstration of purpose, I used the unit tests, but some things have been simplified and do not uh, rely reflect the best practices of writing uh, unit tests. So I'll start. Uh, yeah. I'll start with uh, comparison comparison of the old and new APIs. So. Uh, as you can see, here is the old. Uh, Gregorian, Gregorian calendar is a subclass of calendar. You define some specific time. It makes some some assertions. We also could change some specific uh, fields such as months, day, and etc. So in the old uh, API. Uh, Need to use setter methods, but in the new one, we could, for example, uh, reuse, uh, reuse some uh, objects uh, and change some only some fields or make some operations such as minus day, year, hour, and etc. We could use. Uh, Base methods such as plus or plus minus or minus. And see, is there a lot of useful methods? Although for example, we could uh, extract some fields such as months. Or uh, adjust uh, some also you could truncate some dates use some formatters. Get some uh, duration between uh, dates in the new API. It's, it's really easy. Duration might be, for example, in hours, means etc. Yeah, and also the new API has. Uh, new and old API has some methods to uh, make some transition between API, for example, uh, get instant from old uh, calendar or from old date, uh, constructor for some methods to work with the new API. Uh, But as you can see, the new API is more flexible and has more features, methods. Uh, here are some, you know, some express some. Here are some example with uh, clock. But you could uh, get. Uh, we, we could create some fields such as local date, uh, date time, and another using the instance of clock. Uh, work with specific uh, zone, time zone. Work with default time zone. Uh, uh, PC time zone. And etc. etc. Et uh,
here is place for uh, instant class. In the new pair, we could use, for uh, example, the months classes defined months. Um, so we could also get some. Um, some fields such as months. Make some transition uh, between uh, time zones. Uh, also to make some shifts. Here are some examples with period and duration. Uh, with any uh, class and the new uh, let MPI, we could we could get duration, between, for example, between a uh, few dates. Uh, it could be in, uh, days, hours, minutes. Right. Uh, so period. Just as for um, examples of uh, formatter, so uh, and we could uh, make um, we could transform any any date in the same representation with uh, uh, for some patterns, for example. Uh, here we could uh, the same. Uh, date we transform to different uh, representations. So we use uh, some pattern for this. I recommend you to go to the documentation and read more about uh, different uh, symbols which you, you could use for your patterns. As you can see here the same. Uh, I use the one uh, date, but uh, use different patterns for it. Uh, also, <laughs> some of them uh, might might be uh, specific, <laughs> strange, uh, etc. I could use Unicode, for example. So I, <laughs> it's not a recommendation, but just to highlight that it's possible. Uh, yeah. So. And uh, yeah, we, we will publish the code samples and uh, presentation. You might see it later. So uh, let's look to the presentation. Uh, so uh, the new daytime API is good, but it also has some disadvantages, such as uh, it doesn't control validity of operations in compile time. Any problem with time zone will be appear only at runtime, and the problem with the leap second uh, has not been solved. Uh, in, a con in a conclusion, I would like to mention that uh, all classes in the new API are immutable and set safe. Uh, the new API 
has a precision of one nanosecond, while the Alta API has precision of one millisecond. Uh, in the Alta API, many actions can be performed without specifying time zone, uh, but uh, in the new API, uh, default time zone is not exist, and uh, we have to specify time zone um, implicitly. In the time, uh, uh, in the new API, uh, months, months, and uh, they start with one, and uh, there are also a new enumeration, uh, Java time months, and uh, another uh, useful class. So all classes from the new API are located in the package Java time. Uh, yeah, here's some useful links and. Yeah, probably that's all. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, thanks for the presentation. Uh, we currently have only one question. And if you have any more, uh, that's your chance to write to our chat. Uh, the only question is, uh, what are the popular formats uh, when you convert time to string? Uh, so uh, we have, for example, uh, the standard ISO format, uh, which will be used by default. But uh, let me. So, for example, here are some popular uh, formats for representation, for the representation, right? Uh, I think it's the most popular. Yeah, I agree. And about ISO standard, uh, it's uh, ISO dash eighty six o one, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. you can Google it and find uh, the most commonly used uh, patterns. So uh, I see no more questions in the chat. Let's give a few more seconds. Okay, I think. No one uh, has more questions to us. Uh, so uh, thanks for the presentation. Uh, see you guys next week. Thanks. See you.